possibly a valve broken we weren't sure at the time fire and ems units responded upon arrival um, units determined that there were some students claiming to have some lightheaded dizziness um, they were evaluated by seymour ambulance um, as well as some mutual aid ambulance companies um, they were transported uh, six for evaluation one refused medical treatment just to be evaluated no no outward uh, health issues whatsoever okay. just wanted to make sure fire department determined on we were able to shut off the gas determined that there may have been some type of leak in one of the walls in one of the science labs the building was metered there were no gases in the building and suburban propane is now on scene and the building's been turned over to the seymour board of education so uh, talk a little bit about a propane leak i mean how dangerous is a propane leak and, and what kind of effect can it have on people it, it's certainly it's a flammable gas um it can be dangerous to the occupants inside um, not so much a health hazard, but certainly a flammability issue. That's why we immediately evacuated the building. Once everyone was outside, most of the hazard was gone, and we were able to determine there wasn't hazardous levels of gas in the building. Now, you had a major uh, mutual aid situation here. Can you talk about who, who responded? Um, the Seymour Fire Department responded for fire department uh, activities. On the ambulance side, there was ambulances from the town of Seymour, as well as the town of Oxford, uh, the town of Sh uh, City of Shelton, and the town of Beacon Falls. Anything else that you think I should know that I haven't asked? I think that's complete. Okay. And <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paul, you got here. You got here early today. Yes. We're, we're focusing at Norwich and Charge today. <laughs> How's everything looking right now, Paul? Everything looking good there. Hey, Paul. Can you, can, I, I'm sorry. Can you yep.